President, I rise today to talk about the tradition of New Year's Day, the beginning of a new year, our great country and many of its great traditions. I'm sorry that the minority leader left so quickly because I wanted to brag about how great the New York City did, the police and law enforcement on New Year's Eve. Millions of Americans gathered in New York City to watch the ball drop and the new year to start. We all enjoyed doing that in the warmth of our homes, particularly on days like today, but also in the warmth of America. But there's a second great tradition that takes place on New Year's Day as well. It's called the college football season, which is capped off by the Rose Bowl, which is played in Pasadena, California. This year, the Rose Bowl was between the University of Georgia, my home state, and the University of Oklahoma. One of the greatest football games I think anybody will admit has ever been played in that game before, and I'm proud of both those great universities. Equally proud of the University of Alabama and Clemson University, the other two play teams who played for the right to play in Atlanta, Georgia on Monday night of next week on the 8th of January to decide the collegiate national championship in America. My Bulldogs, Georgia, is going to be one of those two teams. They defeated Oklahoma 54-48 to in a great football game in California. Alabama made a decisive victory over Clemson in Atlanta, Georgia, in, in New Orleans, Louisiana, in the Sugar Bowl. And the two will meet this coming Monday night in the Mercedes-Benz Bowl in Atlanta, Georgia. I don't know who's going to win. I know who I'm pulling for. I know who I'm for. I know who I'm on the floor to brag about tonight. But I'm all equally bragging about all of our collegiate athletics that take place in this country and the great men and women who make it work, the coaches, the athletic directors, the people who make it go. And in particular, with, in Georgia's victory, it prompts me to come to the floor and talk about Kirby Smart. Kirby is the head coach of the University of Georgia. For five years preceding coming to Georgia, he was assistant to, Luce, to Nick Saban, the coach of the University of Alabama, who they will play against each other on Monday night for this year's national championship. It's ironic that the coach and his pupil will be the two coaches in that great game. Kirby's a University of Georgia graduate, was a great University of Georgia football player in his own right, came to the University of Georgia with high hopes of an alumni, hoping that he would be the, the person that could take Georgia to, to new heights. It only took him a year. The first season was 8-5. and five. The second season was this year, 12-1, and one, now 13-1, and one, winning the Rose Bowl and playing for the national championship on Monday night. Kirby Smart's not just smart because he knows football. He's smart because he knows how to be a leader. You saw an example of a man in the, in the Rose Bowl who never took credit himself, always gave it to his other coaches and to his players, never tried to be the winner, always tried to be in the background, put others ahead of himself. But deep down inside and behind the great victory that was won that night, he was his, it was his spirit, his encouragement, his living the dream that all the Georgia players followed. I want to talk about a couple of them. Sony Michelle was the offensive player of the game one of the greatest running backs to come out of the University of Georgia ever, and we've had some good ones, Frankie Sandwich, Sandwich Charlie Trippi, and Herschel Walker. And on defense, Roquan Smith, who was the Dick Butkus Award winner in college football this year, played a great defensive game. And in their combination of leadership, they brought the team on the field, and the quiet leadership and confidence that Kirby Smart brought to the team as its coach. They won that game 54-48 to in a double overtime elimination of the University of Oklahoma. And my congratulations to Oklahoma and their quarterback, Baker Mayfield, who was the Heisman Trophy winner on playing a great game. And I wish Alabama a lot of luck on Monday night, but not enough to beat my Bulldogs. This is going to be our chance to win an SEC, a national championship for the first time in 38 years in football. We're going to be in my home state of Georgia in our newest athletic facility, the Mercedes-Benz Dome. I think it's an appropriate place for us to win. So I'm going to say go dogs on the floor of the Senate. But Monday night, I hope Kirby Smart remembers the reason I'm bragging about him today on the floor is because he's going to be our leader Monday night. He's going to carry us to victory one more time, and I'm counting on it just like all the Georgia graduates all over the country who watched with joy last January 1st. And we'll be looking Monday night with anticipation and hopefully satisfaction. And I yield back the balance of my time.